You're watching Good Morning Utah. Hi, good morning, Utah. If you've been looking for a seat to Super Bowl 53, ticket prices are currently running an average of $2,500. But if you can make it inside, there's some good news for your stomach and your wallet. And reporter Kevin Martin is live in Atlanta with how much you can save once you actually get to the game. Kevin? Well, good morning, Brian and Emily. Mercedes-Benz Stadium made waves when it became the first facility to offer fan-first pricing at its concession stands. And even on the big stage, it's keeping its promise. And I got a chance to get an inside look at the food and beverages they'll be serving up at Super Bowl 53. $2 hot dogs and refillable sodas to the most expensive fan-first item, $6 chicken tenders and fries. There's no need to break the bank to fill up your stomach during the big game. We just didn't think it was right that just because you stepped into this building, all of a sudden you were in an alternate universe where everything costs more money. And even though it's the Super Bowl, it didn't seem appropriate to change our ethos. We want Atlanta and we want Mercedes-Benz Stadium to be not only the best food in the country as far as stadiums are concerned, but we want people to consider it the best value of any place in the country. The only drawback for Super Bowl goers this Sunday? Chick-fil-A will remain closed, but no worries. If you want to splurge on this $14 homage to Chick-fil-A, Chef Kevin Gillespie has you covered. It's the closed on Sunday chicken sandwich. Um, it's just a classic sort of crispy chicken slider, but it's been really, really well received. And I think it's because it has that perfect mix of like sweet and salty and spicy and tangy. Gillespie and his staff created drinks with an L.A. and Boston flair, the Paloma and the New Englander. And if you want to dress up your hot dog, check out the L.A. Chicharron dog with pinto beans and jalapenos. Or the New England Beantown Frank with maple syrup and bacon. We were going to take inspiration for whoever was playing our home team. Well, in the event that no home team is playing, we felt like, well, we should take inspiration from both teams. And we wanted that people coming in from a town would see something a little bit familiar. So if you're willing to break the bank and spend upwards of $2,500 for a ticket, you could essentially get a nice hearty dinner for just nine bucks. Nachos, a hot dog, and a refillable soda. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Reporting live in Atlanta, Kevin E. Martin, Brian and Emily, back to you.